so mozilla navadna university campus club welcomes you uh, we are great grateful to have dr nele yagnik with us who is provost at navadna university he has done instrumentation engineering from bits pilani mms from nursing monji and phd from university of mumbai he got 13 years of experience in the it industry with companies such as wipro infotech digital hp and mastech he also got 27 years of teaching experience i would like to invite dr nilay yagnik to share few words with us over to you sir okay thank you fenel uh, and firstly let me congratulate uh, uh, the all the members of this mozilla user club uh, of navrachna university um, i wish to congratulate professor dhawal mehta who is the guiding spirit behind this entire uh, club as such and all of you students fenel and entire uh, student community which has taken up this initiative uh, it is an extremely important initiative because the more you interact with people of your community developer community industry community the more people will know you education especially when you are talking of computer applications or uh, information technology or computer science all these are application oriented today so uh, you have to uh, interact more and more with what is happening in the world outside uh, and see how your technology can be applied in the outside community so um, i i think it's a wonderful initiative and uh, i wish to thank the mozilla uh, user community of gujarat um, for encouraging uh, students of navrachna university Uh, and setting up the mozilla uh, users club at navrachna university here in madodra um, i would urge the entire community now to think of ways by which computer applications uh, uh, you know even system software related both systems and applications how can they be used to address the current health problem which is happening which is the covid problem and post covid also so let us think of ways let us think of solutions by which we can use the technology which we are learning through our mozilla club uh, and apply it for the society outside with respect to healthcare with respect to covid post covid uh, because society will change post covid uh, substantially life will go on right normal once everything becomes reasonably normal things will start going back to normal but life will change substantially social distancing norms will have to be maintained right and the precautions that we all have will have to be maintained similarly healthcare will have to be also addressed uh, in a very big way and it plays a very major role in this whole thing a few days ago we had a lecture uh, by uh, professor mohan tanniru of the university of arizona and uh, he had uh, spoken about technology and digital health especially in the public health scenario uh, in the uh, in this era that we are living in today it's extremely relevant today so my request to the entire um, mozilla user uh, community of navrachna university now uh, and the extended mozilla user community of gujarat to please think of ways and think of solutions to address the current problem of the world and the society that we are living in right now which is uh, the covid and post covid era my best wishes to the entire uh, uh, mozilla uh, user club of navrachna university the new club that has been formed uh, my best wishes to all the students here who have taken up this uh, very good initiative and um, thank you professor dhawal mehta for uh, guiding the students accordingly best wishes and thank you very much for inviting me today thank you thank, thank you, you sir thank you sir for your kind words we are surely on it it was pleasure to have you on board thank you sir also we have a uh, hod of bachelor computer application dhawal mehta and other professors yash karanke himal shah and akash gupta thank you for having on joining this meet up now moving on to today's meetups agenda who we are what we do why did we open a campus club at navadna university how do i become a mozillian 
and then we have Pranshu Khanna sharing his experience as a Mosulian. So who are we? We are student. We are group of students with sh same passion for technology who meet regularly to advance this mission by building and innovating and op on open source projects that keep the web open and also which not only help us but also help millions of people. In three magical words, I would like to say we are open. What we do, we contribute to open source. Open source is a computer software that's distributed with, with its source code available for modification like Mozilla. Anyone can contribute and use his or her skills to make the internet better, like making the internet healthier, safer, like in the sense risk-free and better and more smoother. Why did we open a campus club at Mozilla uh, at Navarana University? to provide unique opportunities for networking so that students can collaborate with each other and make amazing projects. Having product, productive activities like meetups, workshops, and hackathons, which level, level ups the student skills. Also with startling exposure. Opportunities to give talks so that students do not lack public speaking skills. Helping students to make community leaders so that they experience what and how responsibilities to take and much more stuff. You might be thinking since long, how do I become a Mozillian? Well, it's simple. Make an account on community.mozilla.org and start contributing. You can contribute to campaigns like Common Voice, Hunt From Home, where you can file books if you find any. You can contribute to Firefox products, add-ons, and much more. Don't worry, we are going to do these things in upcoming meetups or workshops, so chill. Now we have Pranshu Khanna, who is Mozilla rep, co-organizer of Healthier AI. He is also involved in Mozilla Learning Task Force. He is Mozilla Gujarat leading contributor and a Manchester United fanboy. So I would like to invite Pranshu Khanna to share his experience with Mozilla. Over to you, sir. All right. Hello, everyone. Um, I hope you all are doing fine in, uh, on the Saturday. Uh, thank you all for tuning in to this webinar. I'm really glad that a lot of people have come to hear about what we're going to do at, at, Mozilla, at uh, Mozilla University University. Thank you, Professor, for that uh, great speech here. Uh, it, it's really lovely to see somebody uh, who, who is at such a such a high post of yours to to be so involved in this community? And thank you, Dabul Mehta, sir, for doing the same. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, so let's start with the um, let, let's start with the journey. So when when Fennel asked me that you know if if you would like to share your uh, your journey with with the uh, Mozilla Navdash University community, I was thinking about, you know, what, what should I share, but what will be something worth a while. And I believe that, you know, my journey within the community of four and a half years really uh, could be something that can help you in a way that uh, you're not lost with ideas, you're not through with ideas. Uh, so I just share my screen here. Is it visible to everybody? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So, uh, uh, welcome to the webinar. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to talk about my Mozilla journey uh, with Moz in UV. And uh, uh, if you see the logo up there, it's called Reps Mozilla. Uh, so, more is going to come on that later. But uh, yeah, uh, I started my journey as a Muslim, just like all of you. I reckon you must have uh, filled a form and in that uh, you must have used a community.mozilla.org link, which, which basically makes you a part of the Mozilla community. And when you're a part of the Mozilla community, you naturally become a Muslim. And I started my journey as a Muslim. Okay. 
introductions first. Hi, I'm Pancho. I'm basically a maker. I, I still tend like to call myself a maker uh, because I'm an electronics and communication engineer uh, from the Rhoda itself, uh, Babbage Institute of Technology and Science. Uh, and uh, in the MOSVERS, in the Mozilla universe, I'm known as a Mozilla representative, uh, resource rep, an open leaders mentor, uh, a Mozilla slash open design maintainer, and the healthy AI organizer. So these are several roles that I've adapted to uh, throughout my time within the Mozilla community, and I continue to do so. So I usually represent a sub-community called Mozilla Gujarat. Now, when we talk about Mozilla, it's a huge uh, software company. You know, you can put it that way, but uh, most of uh, the Mozilla users or most of internet users, if I say, uh, they don't really know what Mozilla is all about. And uh, Mozilla is basically uh, split into two parts. There, there's a Mozilla Foundation and there's a Mozilla Corporation. So Mozilla Corporation continues to work on those products that we are fond of uh, using, uh, such as Firefox, Thunderbird, uh, Voice, Lockwise, etc. So the corporation is basically a software company, but we, but but Mozilla does not really uh, tend to generate a revenue from that. Uh, it will be from this year they might start, but uh, yeah. Mozilla actually has been built on this foundation called Internet for People, not profit. So it's basically a not for profit organization. And uh, that's how the community really started. But more on that later. Let, let's start with what is a community. So I opened it actually to see, no, actually, I Googled what is a community. And it's basically a group of people living in the same place or having a particular characteristic in common. So uh, you can say that our community uses Firefox, but uh, no, we're, we're much more than that. Uh, Firefox uh, represents what we stand for. So when I say that uh, Mozilla believes in internet for people, not profit, uh, Mozilla actually has a lot of uh, activism going on on the side and uh, we are usually a part of that activism so when it comes to say uh, Aadhaar or uh, um, am I completely audible just by the way yeah yeah you are you are awesome thank you so yeah uh, Mozilla basically uh, believes in in an open internet and uh, we are usually part of activism in the sense that uh, uh, there was a time when when net neutrality was an issue so for those who do not know net neutrality is something which uh, would have changed the course of uh, internet as to how we use it now net neutrality if uh, it were implemented we would have been paying uh, say 30 rupees for Facebook, 30 rupees for Instagram, 40 rupees for Snapchat. So for different apps, for different app access, we would have been paying uh, a, a different uh, amount of money. But uh, Mozilla, when stepped in, uh, it actually had, uh, how do I put it? Uh, it actually had hearings with the US Congress and that's the level of activism it believes in. It, it has a set of lawyers and everything and Mozilla actually works on donations. So uh, a lot of companies, a lot of people actually donate to Mozilla and well, do not worry. I'm not asking you for your donation, but I'm, I'm actually asking you to become a part of this larger family uh, that we call a community. And this is what this community is all about because uh, we can range from design to development to activism to anything you want it to be. And you will see a lot of examples when I talk about my experience throughout the community. Uh, so, Mozilla community, internet for people, for profit. It, uh, I'll start my journey from here. And uh, it's mostly portrayed in pictures. 
and I, I believe that you'll find a lot of these pictures very intriguing as to how the time has passed and what my journey has been. And uh, it's all about how the Mozilla community has helped me nurture, not just myself, but to enable me to nurture others as well. If I'm here talking to you guys, it's, it's because of the experience that I've had uh, throughout my, uh, my Mozilla journey. And it's a pleasure to do it. <laughs> All right, so just like you all, uh, you all are becoming a part of this club called Moz NUV. And just like you all, uh, I initially became a part of this club called Bitfox Club. So as, as my introduction said, that uh, I'm a part of, uh, I have been a part of this Mozilla community since 2016 and I'm I am an electronics and communication engineer who passed from Barbary Institute of Technology from the other side of town, literally, for all of you guys. Uh, Big Fox Club, uh, Barbary Institute of Technology Fox Club, uh, was initiated by Mitesh, Mitain Kashyani, Dhaval Joshi and me uh, back in 2016. And this was the first poster that I designed. I did not really know how to design anything really. That's all. Um, right. So, starting from the club launch, uh, starting from the club launch, uh, back in Jan, Jan 2016, uh, the Bitsy Campus uh, helped us host a uh, launch event for the club, and uh, we were able to do that. And they were about 150, 150 people. There were about 150 people who arrived without really uh, giving us a heads up that uh, this is something that we would want to attain. But uh, this is where we started, and uh, and this is just how it went. I I I'm pretty sure you will not be able to find me. I'm I'm right here. So this is basically a signature Foxy pose that we have after each and every uh, Mozilla event. Uh, it, it symbolizes a Firefox. And uh, this whole crowd from my college came together. Okay. So I hope you all are on the link. And uh, let's just start. So if you're on the live link, you can see that uh, this is the team uh, that we had for Bitbox Club. And uh, I really hope that uh, you will be able to follow in the footsteps and uh, become part of your uh, Mozilla uh, Navarashan University Club as well, Mozilla University Club as well. And this team basically uh, helped us get uh, uh, content, uh, uh, content as to what we're going to present uh, to the community that we had, uh, the club that we had uh, in terms of uh, technical roles. So each and everybody would have different technical roles and uh, these technical roles uh, could actually lead to helping others uh, learn more from their experience. So that really helped us uh, do a lot of things. Really. Uh, this model helped us do a lot of things. So yeah, we actually put in a lot of effort for, for our first uh, our first event, and just like you all, I, I believe that Mozini we also put up a lot of effort in, in organizing this event. And one one small token was uh, this rangoli that someone had drawn, which was pretty accurate as well. It is basically a Firefox in another bag, which is written with Fox Club. And so it was a lot of effort. And, uh, well, to be very honest, I wasn't uh, an advocate of this. I, I really didn't want to do something like this. But yeah, I'm really glad that, uh, that, that the team came together to do this. And well, yeah, uh, so after the first event, it really opened up. So if you are on the presentation, you can see that uh, there's a guy in the center uh, who's wearing a Firefox cap. And, uh, and on his left, uh, there were two people. Uh, so from left to right, uh, from the 
guy who's wearing the Firefox hat is, is the Rahul Tantrecha. Uh, on his left is the Kirish Ponga, and on his left is uh, Ram Dayal Vaishnav. And on his left, uh, there I am sitting, uh, a very young kid, thinking what what am I really doing here? Because these were people who had uh, technical progress over things. And uh, they had actually seen our progress and they invited us to an event that you all may know. Uh, it's, it's, it's hosted every year by uh, MSU. Yeah, uh, it's called Footprints. And uh, we were invited there and it was really new for us. We weren't invited before to anything. We had organized this one event. And that really put us on the map as to there's a club and uh, our initiative basically led us to places. And these three guys invited us and, you know, showed us and taught us what, what do we have to do to actually teach a crowd of 160 people, which is standing right behind us. So uh, we basically volunteered at, at this event and, uh, the event was about uh, Internet of Things, uh, connected devices, and uh, uh, being an electronics and communication engineer, it was it was something that opened up my worldview of how do I view electronics, uh, because we had been uh, learning the the syllabus that was provided by the college, but uh, it it really opened up uh, our worldview as to what all can we do. And it was really humbling. So after that, uh, we really needed to regroup because once we had been out of the community, we had to bring that experience back to the community. And uh, well, to be on very honest, it, it had been just through events. And uh, the first one was organized by us. And in the second one, we were invited. But it was really important to uh, share that experience with other people so that they can uh, understand and you know see what what they can do from there. And once we did that, I realized that I have a say because think about it. This was second year of college, and uh, I was basically a 19, 20 year old kid. And people really wanted to hear what I have to say because of the technical technical progress I have been. And uh, I'm not saying that it was a lot, but it really enabled me to approach things in a way where I can really take something and share it to people. And that really enabled me to, uh, to put myself into a leadership position. After that, after that, this is, this is an adorable picture that I love because once we, uh, we completed the Muslim meetup in our college, actually helped us understand that you know, we could do more. And uh, if you know of a village called Barnama, it's literally close by, uh, it's literally close to our college. It's like six kilometers away. And so we made, made a few calls and uh, turns out the, the principal of the school was uh, somebody uh, who someone in our core team knew and uh, we just called him up and you know asked him if we could help because this school was in a village and the only computer they had was in the principal's office. So it was 2016 they had not used a computer or a laptop before and this was something you know that helped us uh, realize what what our priorities are going to be and you know how, how could we do more and we really wanted to help people and Mozilla is uh, Mozilla community is a place where uh, helping people is something that uh, that is very encouraged so uh, as I said that uh, after each and every event we have this foxy pose uh, and we take a picture with all of the group. And that's what we did with this particular class. So uh, if you can see, there are four people, four five people from our team right here. But uh, these were spread into five classes, and we taught various things as to you know what is an input, what is an output, just basic computer stuff because they had read it in theory. 
if you go back and see how the Gujarat board, so the school had Gujarat board uh, uh, certificate. And uh, so Gujarat board teaches you all the basics, but who actually helped them do the practicals. It was, it was uh, a great experience for us to see how, how 10, 12 years old uh, kids actually react to using a computer and supervised. So yeah, and that was really rewarding. So once the, the Teach the Kids event was over, we, we called it hashtag Teach the Kids. And uh, once that was over, I, I wrote a 1500, no, sorry, 1200 word blog. And it, it just blew up. Uh, I was recognized within the Mozilla community for, for writing great documentation for for having great ideas around the learning platform. So people who were all already in the Mozilla community for years, they eventually recognized that, uh, you know, this, this person has potential and this uh, really got me a lot of recognition. And uh, through that, uh, I was invited to join the Mozilla Learning Network Task Force. So what the Learning Network Task Force does was that uh, they basically uh, organized or uh, put it, strategized the learning parts of Mozilla where, where students can learn basic things like HTML, CSS. So it was really rewarding to be invited to uh, be in a place with so many people around who, who already know about uh, so many things in the education system or the learning network. And I got to learn a lot more from there. So that was the end of phase one. That, that was all about uh, Brickfox Club. And, uh, uh, yes. And literally when, uh, when uh, it was up to the Brickfox Club, uh, I, I realized that there is a wider community. And uh, uh, this very logo for Mozilla Gujarat was designed by me, a novice designer. And they were really taking inputs from from us and uh, I realized that uh, I, I can go, uh, I can go actually wider, I, I can do more. Okay, so Mutsala Gujarat Nika Party. Uh, this was an event that was organized uh, alongside the Gujarat Technology University and uh, we actually hosted it in, uh, in Gandhinagar in Chankhira. And uh, this was a very, very large scale that actually uh, got us, what, uh, 1,500 uh, participants for various, various talks uh, in, in the span of two days. And this was something that really opened us up as Mozilla Gujarat. And uh, a lot of people know about, knew about Mozilla Gujarat because of Make Party. Being a part of this event, being a part of this uh, event as a co-organizer was uh, really rewarding us to understand how can we reach, uh, how can we achieve a scale uh, throughout our uh, event journey. And my work at the Maker Party led me to get an invitation at the Maker Fest 2017. And Make of this 2017 was uh, was completely different experience because that that was really, really the first time that I you know met a lot of people from all over India and uh, even Shabazz Bay here. So uh, Make a Fest was completely game changing because I got to know so much so much more about what Mozilla does uh, as to as to how speaking come, speaking factors into it, how campaigning factors into it, how designing factors into it. And uh, it, it was just great meeting a lot of people who are so experienced uh, throughout the Mozilla community. So uh, you all must know a song, uh, Go Go, it's a Gujarati song and uh, we actually, went to 
give a talk at VEYG Mesana in, in San Francisco Institute of Technology, Mesana. And uh, this had become a very good memory as to I, uh, I had been in the community for over a year and uh, I was to lead these people to understand about Mozilla technologies, about giving talks and everything. So that was something uh, that that actually put me in a uh, in in a more leadership position. Once that was done, uh, I actually got an opportunity to talk about a frame and how to build VR apps at in my university. And uh, uh, coming from coming from uh, a very institute of technology, going to near my university to teach their kids, to teach their students how to build VR was something that boosted my confidence to another level and uh, this was an opportunity that was only you know brought to me by my work uh, within the community whether it was designing a few things whether it was writing blogs whether it was uh, you know pitching and you know, or having a voice within the community and that was something that really you know put me up to the stage all right so that was all about Mozilla Gujarat and in that case. And that's when I realized that it runs larger. And uh, it runs larger in a sense that there is a wider web community. Uh, it's it's not the goal, actually. Uh, but that was the scale that we were working at. And uh, uh, we really needed to understand how, how do we uh, how do we mobilize the India community? And, and that could really help us, uh, help us achieve things uh, on a larger scale. Right. So once I became a part of the Mozilla India community, uh, I, uh, I stumbled upon a link for Mozilla Open Leaders and I applied for a, if somebody's doing the annotations, just right. so uh, we started uh, uh, with the Mozilla Open Leaders, and uh, that really helped me to complete a project called Web for All. And doing that project, uh, giving my inputs, uh, helped me become a mentor later on. So as that was done, I I was invited to become a mentor uh, for the next cohort. And I minted a project called Spread Open Hindi Web by Sri Mazulta. And uh, then, so one thing happens and it, it just uh, went on like a domino. When, once I started doing so many things, I, I was again invited to make this mini team and uh, uh, represent Mozilla um, in such a huge fashion because make a fest is a stage where uh, Mozilla India uh, did a lot of things and uh, it was a great experience and every year people from all over the country uh, who were passionate about technology would come and talk about well, what they were doing and how they were contributing to the community and it was really great. All right, so uh, once you start building up to that moment, once you start getting recognition from uh, on a larger scale, uh, you try not to forget your roots. And uh, this is us at, uh, at Footprints X8. So we organized a VR workshop for, uh, for students who uh, wanted to attend it at uh, Footprints in 2018. And you can see Shabazz by standing right here. And uh, this, these uh, continuous presences, these continuous uh, events uh, helped us put us on a map. I, I really love the, this guy who's so excited. Anyway, so it's not just about uh, workshops, it's not just about design, it's not just about events. It's also about, uh, about you know, exploring things, exploring places together. And this is a community that wants to happen together. 
and you can see uh, there's Lakshmi Vilas Palace behind us. So you're pretty much familiar with All right. So once I completed Mozilla Open Leaders project and then I uh, met it one, I really got into my style and uh, was invited to meet another one. And Chandik is in uh, Augmented Reality Project, which uh, eventually uh, obtained a Mozilla open source uh, fund for about $5,000. And uh, that was uh, after it came through the Mozilla Open Leaders system. And uh, this was really an achievement for all of us. Uh, all of us as uh, as a mentor for me and as a mentor for them to uh, go on and you know build something that they were really passionate about through open source. So after that, I, I uh, realized that the community needs work as to uh, opening up more avenues for people to learn. And this is all of us at Charusat University in Changa. And, uh, actually hosted a mixed reality workshop there and uh, it was something else as to we were really moving out of our comfort zone and you know reaching out to places uh, where Mozilla had no presence and uh, that's what we brought to the community as to expand our horizons. So once I started working for the uh, Muslim in the community and, you know, uh, thought that we can go higher, we can do more, uh, it, was, it was really important to expand my uh, own horizons as well. And uh, I had led to, I had led to the Mozilla Festival. And once I got selected, that, that was, I was, already on the top of the world, but this just put me on cloud nine as to what I, you know, what I could achieve. And uh, I was invited to London to speak about fake news, misinformation and disinformation. And uh, it was a great, great experience. So when we came, uh, when I came back, I really did not want to lose uh, that we had for the Mozilla Gujarat community and uh, as the tradition is, we kept on pushing harder to uh, be more routine, be more uh, regular to such events as uh, Footprints and uh, since Footprints X6, we have been at uh, MSU every year to, to help people understand technology better. So, right after MSU, uh, this is this is our community. This is our small community at MakerFest 2019, and uh, uh, MakerFest went local, and it, it, it happened in Baroda, and uh, that's why we had to go local as well. Since it was a smaller scale uh, MakerFest, we uh, actually gave opportunity to uh, local volunteers, and uh, around me are all these local volunteers who helped us stay on the booth and talk about internet and openness and about how and what the hell the internet is and it was just amazing <laughs> make it has always been a great experience for us okay. so once we were done with that it really stuck us as to you know how can we build our own community because uh, we needed to grow as much as we can because uh, well, knowledge is a treasure that, that shouldn't be contained. And uh, this is from an event called Overs Fest at Bible Institute of Technology. And there hadn't been an event since I left college. So it was great to go back and, you know, uh, help the students from my college and other colleges to come here and you know, uh, listen to what we had to say, and they started their own club from then on. Great. So this is from, from an event, uh, not even from an event. This is, this is from a discussion that happened in Andhapad with the Mozilla International Policy Head and the Mozilla India Policy Head. 
uh, about how Mozilla uh, can push capitalism and create uh, an uh, international privacy law because that is necessary. India does not have a national privacy law, and this really, uh, this discussion really helped them push and reach out to ministers to actually raise a proper voice in the session as to what needs to be done and what not because privacy and surveillance are at its peak and we should intervene when when the privacy law you know is, is going to be established because until and unless there is a law there, there can't be any progress so it was about giving everyone a voice and around uh, around Ambakak and Yokai Benevi, the policy heads. There are a lot of people from our community and uh, I organized this event with them to actually give uh, the privacy focused contributors who needed to have a voice, uh, a proper platform to showcase what they had to say. So once that was done, uh, it was about giving everyone an opportunity and uh, and Vizithorn did exactly that. And Vizithorn was an amalgamation of so many factors as to, uh, as to it, it really put together uh, what we needed to do with our community. And uh, uh, it was a completely contributor organized event, a completely contributor organized uh, hackathon. I, me as an experienced person, Try not to have a say on this, and these volunteers really, uh, really outdid themselves as to what a hackathon should be, and uh, it was really incredible to host a hackathon with around 80 people who had just come there to bed. Okay. So that was for the community. That was uh, the, what we did for the community and how we organized, but. Uh, the the next slide is to how did I manage to uh, progress on the personal front as well because uh, uh, personally this is from Mozilla Rajasthan and they they could see how how we were uh, you know doing things at Mozilla Gujarat and they invited us they invited me to come and talk about open source and contribution and virtual reality. Uh, at, at the second event and yeah, it, it was about uh, the experience I had and how to share it properly and how to uh, progress in your own stride because it's not a very rigid community. You can literally uh, do as much as you can in the way you want to because Mozilla really appreciates individuality. And uh, after that, I I applied. Uh, I reapplied for Mozilla Festival, and I was again invited to London's Pony University London to talk about talk about uh, neurodiversity, and uh, and this was a completely different experience from the first one because at at the first conference I was really uh, I was really. Uh, it, it was so much for me to understand and it was so much for me to absorb, but the second one was even better as to I knew what sessions did I have to attend and what talks did I have to give. And it was literally perfect. So uh, I, if you can see the screen, you can see that uh, a lot of us are in traditional clothes because it was Diwali and uh, we were literally celebrating Diwali at the Muslim Festival in London. All right. So uh, that's all I had to say. That's all uh, I had to uh, say around my experience. And I hope you learn from it that you know, community is really about people. It's about having fun. And I really hope you do. Uh, as you can see in this picture, I, I'm not there, but uh, it is it is literally a you know, reflection of the community that we're trying to build here because it's it's for people to have fun and people who want to build, people who want to do more uh, should be enabled and should be doing more. So please go on, please make mistakes and please do more. Thank you so much.
what do you feel uh hello yeah uh thank you so very much for sharing your experience so uh it was fun having you on board and surely me and other participants have learned from your experience so yeah thank you very much also i would like to thank shahbaz alam who is mozilla rep council member shaina di she is also mozilla rep council member pratik who is mozilla rep and harshil he is also a mozilla rep for joining us today and i just wanted to say pranshu you did a great job i would have like like in this someone has uh, somehow managed to sneak into our call and if that happened with me i would have maybe not performed well what you have done it it's very wonderful to see your journey because i am also in somehow part of your journey and we share a same journey same passion and same goal so for everyone uh, who doesn't know me i'm also a same uh, rep as pranshu uh, we share a same passion and journey um, i happened to be uh, have and taken some more responsibility in the reps program otherwise i am same as you guys and uh, i'm very happy to see new faces and new clubs joining up and starting their journey in gujarat gujarat has been my third home because my first home is where i live and second home is jaipur where i studied from and the third home is gujarat because i each year i have been in gujarat for around 10 to 15 times some different cities so that is my third home and i'm very happy for people like pranshu harsh harshil uh uh devansh and lot many new people i uh, haven't interacted with many but uh, yeah pratik is also here i i don't see him here but he is also part of the community the gujarat community as we say so so once again happy and um, uh, what i need to say that you did a great job pranshu and everyone and uh, feel free to reach out to pranshu and to me uh, if you don't know my handle he'll give you my handle as well feel free to reach out to any of us and we are here to help you help you in the journey of uh, pranshu or shahbaz be like with uh, be like us and uh, also i would like to uh, thank uh, sushma vankade and jaymitha for joining with us today thank you So now I have unmuted all. Uh, feel free to say uh, what you have experienced. And uh, people, if you got any questions, you can ask right now to Pranshu Bhai and all. Uh, uh, really, I have one question, Panel. Yeah, yeah. Um, Hello, Pranshu ji. Good evening. Very nice talk. And uh, I have one question from the student side that if a student want to join your club, so will it be helpful for them for future perspective for making their uh, uh, what we can say that for getting good job or placement perspective, how it will become helpful to them? Um. Well, definitely. Uh. See. Uh, even if I'm working, or even if Shabazz Bhai is working right now, there are a lot of uh, community members who have been with us since 2009, really. And those people, with uh, by by contributing to this, by by actually uh, building things for the community, for the clubs, uh, it it has really helped them to uh, get more experience as to hands-on coding and. Uh, uh, in terms of uh, real life experiences while building projects and uh, that has led to uh, greater opportunities so uh, really the the first person who came on to speak uh, in in my college's first event is right now working in cisco san francisco and he really gives a lot of credit to the mozilla community as to how he could uh, connect with so many people and how he could uh, have so much hands on experience 
So yeah, it did it repeat itself. Okay. Thank you. In three, two, one. One more, one more. Just a second. Thank you, thank you, everybody. It was fun today.